Hello everyone, welcome to the IIT JAM 2022 Mathematics Real Analysis Question. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve those questions which were asked in this paper. So let's start with this one without any wasting of time. So you have the two function h and g are defined of this. Then which of the following statement is false? So since there is only one correct option is there. So you can see that the a option a it doesn't contain any of the h and g. So if we substitute the value of the x and y here directly, what is that? This is my 2 pi. This is 2 plus 1 is 3. What is that? This is cos of 120. What is the cos of 120? I can write as here. This is nothing but my minus half. So it means this is the correct statement, but we need a false statement. Again, you can see here, this is no x, h and g are there. So how you can solve that? I can substitute the value of directly e, e minus of this. So what is that greatest integer? All of you know that e is my 2.71. What is the greatest integer of the e is my 2. So it can be in the upside that is e minus 2 log of e is 1. So e minus 2 that's also the correct statement. Look about this one. So since this is a function which is independent of the h and g. So I can substitute the value of 0. So it will be 1. What is the g of 0? That is a limit x approaches 0 of g of x. So we can take as a 0 minus and we can take as a 0 plus. You can see whenever you take a 0 minus 0 plus the answer will be by 1. So this value is also 1. This is also 1. The product is 1. So the only option is my here which is a wrong statement. So the right answer is here. You can see another question is there. So which of the following statement is my correct where x comma y is defined as x y minus y x. That's very simple. Let me do first see the first part here. I can write this y x y z is in terms of the y z minus z x. I can again apply this definition. This is x y. So I can multiply them x. This is y. Sorry. This is here minus of the y. This is y z x plus z y x. Is there anything is cancel out? This is x no cancel out. Now we can do on the right hand side. This is my left hand side. Now I can do on the right hand side. This is my x y minus y x comma z. Now if you open again as x y, this is x y z minus y x z minus z x. That is a z x y plus z y x. Are they equal? You can see x y z, x y z present, x z y there is no x, z, y are present. It means this statement is more false. So q is my false. So either this is cancel out or this is cancel out. So now we can check for the p. I can expand the first part y comma z. So what is that? This is x, y, z minus of the z, x. Now I can write this as x, y, z minus x, z y minus y z x plus z y x this is for the first part now you can see the second part is similar just is a cyclic process x to be the y y to be the z and here so i can replace x to be the y y to be the z z to be the x x to be the y y z to be x here x y that is this x y and this is my x z y this is for the second portion again you can see from here x replaced to the z z replaced to be the x and so on so this will be my z x y minus x here minus x y z plus y x z now we can see whether now all have the sum so we can see x plus x y z minus x y z minus x z y minus this is a plus cancel out y z x y z x cancel out z y x z y x this cancel out here is cancel out this is cancel out this will be a zero so that's a correct statement so p is correct q is false b is the correct answer of this problem look at the another one is there so how you can solve this problem is there you have to find the value of this k now that's a very simple, there are so many, either you can partial derivative this with respect to x2 then x3 and so on, but there is no need. You can see that this, what is the degree of this is 7, degree of this is 7, degree of this is again 7, that's a homogeneous. So you can, you can solve any of the one part. So let's say I can start with this, only of the first part is there. 
Now, if you substitute this value here, what is the degree of this? That is a t. This is t raised to power eight, t raised to power six. What is the degree of this? Is fourteen. Now, since this it means this is also fourteen, this is also fourteen. Now, if I start with here, this value, can I write this value as of this partial derivative of this? So, what is the x one is t? What is the partial derivative of this? The power will be my thirteen. Whatever the coefficient is there, because I need only the value of t. We don't bother about the c. What is the partial derivative of this? Is my two t or whatever the coefficient? So this will be cancel out. Sorry, this is my fifteen. This is nine and six fifteen. So the partial derivative is fourteen. So you can see this is my fourteen. Whatever the coefficient is there, so the right answer is my fourteen of this problem. You can solve either like of this. That's the same answer you can get. That's a fifteen. If you substitute here, x two will be my t square. Now you can write u with respect to this is again fourteen divided by x three. What is the derivative of the x three is here? You can see again cancel out. So the coefficient is my fourteen is the right answer of this problem. Look at the another one is there. So you have e with a set of all those points at which f and g are discontinuous. So when this function be the discontinuous, so we all know that this is the greatest integer. The greatest integer is discontinuous over this domain is when x square plus y square is one, two or three, and this y square is discontinuous at the point one, two and three. Now we have to find the number of the elements in this set E. That's a very simple. You can draw the first line. This is my x is x square plus y square is one. This is the line my x square plus y square is equal to two. This is the line for my x square plus y square is equal to three. Now you can draw this line. Y square is my one, so that is my here. There is a plus minus one. This is my y square is there. This is the point of intersection of the y square is plus minus of two. This is the point of the intersection of the y square is plus minus of three. Now you can find the point of intersection in the first line. There are uh, sorry, this is the This is only one point of intersection are there, so that is my one. This is the one point of intersection two and three. This is my one, two, three, four, five. Now since it is a symmetric, so you can see there are the similar points are there. This is a five here. This is my one. This is two. This is three, and this is uh, this is my only one. So how many points are there? This is nine here, nine here. So the right answer of this is my eighteen is the. Correct answer of this problem. Look at the last example are there. So how you can so your target is to find the value of this. So our basic purpose is to find the value of the f x, find the value of the g x. So we can see from the g here, this is the integration with respect to t. So you can integrate them. This is t cube upon three over the limit zero to g of x. This is nine of x plus one cube. So three can be in the in this side. So g of x cube is my 27 of x plus 1 cube. So what is that g of x is there? This is nothing but my 3 x plus 1. So you can easily find the value of the g of 2. That is a 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 is 9 9. Now how you can find the value of the here? You can start from this. Since this f is my unknown, so what you can do? You can take the partial derivative with respect to x. How you can do that? You can simply take x cube plus x square into Derivative of this that is a three x square plus of two x minus f of the lower limit and the derivative of this lower limit is zero, which is equal to two x. So can you find the value of x cube plus x square from here? It will be my two x upon three x square plus two x. You can see that one x will be cancelled out. It will be my three x plus of two. Now you can substitute the value here. What is the f of two? For what value of the x you can choose, huh? so that this becomes the two. I can choose x as a one. So if you substitute x as a one, what is the f of two? This is two upon five. That is my point four. What is the f of twelve? For what value of the x you can choose, huh? so that this becomes my twelve. You can choose x as my two. So it is my here. So this is my two upon a. So that is my one by four. So you can substitute here. This is my point four. This is my one by four. This is my four. So nine for the thirteen. Thirteen point four is the right answer of this problem. So this is the way you can solve this in a very simple manner. We will see some more questions related to linear algebra and the other topics in this next uh, videos. Till then, you can simply share this 
video with your friends subscribe the channel best of luck students